welcome to another video of math and science guide today we are going to discuss unit wise question paper discussion for grade 12 cbsc board exam okay so cbsc board exams are coming hope all of you have started preparation for a board exam so it is better you just revise each chapter and just go through the previous year question paper okay now today i have selected one previous year question paper and selected all the questions from the first unit that is relations and functions consisting of two chapters relations and functions and inverse trigonometric functions okay if you are new to this channel please do subscribe if you find this video useful please uh, do share and comment okay we can start the video so first unit is relations and functions consisting of two chapters relations and functions and inverse trigonometric functions you will get maximum eight mark question from this unit that is from these two chapters you will get maximum eight mark questions so if you study this simple unit you, you can assure eight marks okay the first question is from first section a that consists of one mark this is an assertion reason based question hope all of you know the pattern of question paper it consists of five sections section a b c d and e a consists of mcqs and assertion reason based question there will be two assertion reason based questions okay we can discuss the pattern of question paper and also marks and coming videos so this is a one mark question Okay, I'm going to read the question. Assertion, the range of the function f of x is equal to 2 sin inverse x plus 3 pi by 2, where x belongs to minus 1, 1, is closed interval pi by 2, 5 pi by 2. When assertion is given, you have to say whether it is true or false. We can see, what is sin inverse x function? Sin inverse x is a function. And what's the domain and range of this function? It is a function from closed interval minus 1 1 2 minus pi by 2 pi by 2 okay this is the function sine inverse of x here we have to check whether the range of the function 2 sine inverse x plus 3 pi by 2 is pi by 2 5 pi by 2 or not okay so we can see what will be the function range of a uh, 2 sine inverse x range of the function sine inverse of x is minus pi by 2 pi by 2 so range of 2 sine inverse of x will be 2 into minus pi by 2 pi by 2 plus 3 pi by 2 okay this will be the range of this function which is equal to minus 2 pi by 2 will be minus pi minus pi to pi plus 3 pi by 2 that is to the range minus pi to pi we are adding 3 pi by 2 so if we add 3 pi by 2 what will happen minus pi plus 3 pi by 2 pi plus 3 pi by 2 which is equal to minus 2 pi plus 3 pi that is pi pi by 2 2 pi plus 3 pi 5 pi by 2 so the range of this function 2 sin inverse x plus 3 pi by 2 range of 2 sin inverse x plus 3 pi by 2 is pi by 2 5 pi by 2 it is given the same interval so this is true so assertion is true assertion is true next we can go to the reason the range of the principal value branch of sin inverse x is 0 pi we already discussed the range is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 here given 0 to pi it is wrong so reason is false assertion is true and reason is false hope all of you understand this question you have to find the range of function 2 sin inverse x plus 3 pi by 2 we know the range of sin inverse x minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 okay that is there in your textbook so you can add this you will get it as pi by 2 5 pi by 2 so assertion is true and the reason is false okay next question is 
a question from section B, a two mark question. And the question paper that I have selected consists of two questions from uh, on this section. One or question is also there. So in examination, you can attend only one question. Okay, which is uh, easy for you that you can attend. Now I will do both the questions. Okay, see we can see the first question. A function f from a to b defined as f of x is equal to 2x is both 1, 1 and on 2. Okay, a function is given, it is both 1, 1 and on 2. If a equal to set 1, 2, 3, 4, then find the set b. Okay, what is a? a is the domain and b is the codomain. So here it is given both 1, 1 and on 2. On 2 means codomain equal to range. So we need to find all the uh, all the elements of the range. That is a set of all images. Also it is given that it is 1, 1. That means each distinct elements in the domain has distinct images. So we need to find all the images. Here the function is f of x is equal to 2x domain is 1 2 3 4 then what will be the image of 1 f of 1 will be 2 into 1 which is equal to 2 f of 2 is 2 into instead of x 2 2 into 2 4 like that f of 3 is 6 f of 4 is 8 so what will be the range or what will be the set b range equal to set b equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, we need to find the images of the set. That is 1 maps to 2 into 1, 2. 2 maps to 4, 3 maps to 6, 4 maps to 8. So, the set B is 2, 4, 6, 8. Simple question, you will get 2 mark. And the OR question is from inverse trigonometric functions. Evaluate sin inverse sin 3 pi by 4 plus cos inverse cos 3 pi by 4 plus tan inverse of what? While you are evaluating, we have to check whether it is in the principal range. Okay, what is the uh, range of sin inverse function? Sin inverse function range is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. And cos inverse range is 0 to pi. Okay, so here 3 pi by 4. Is it in uh, the range uh, minus pi by 2 to pi by 2? No. Pi by 2 is 90 degree and 3 pi by 4 is 135 degree. So not in that range. So we have to convert it into the principal range. So how can we do that? We can write sine inverse of sine 3 pi by 4. We can write it as express it in terms of a denominator this is 3 pi is 4 pi minus pi okay denominator is 4 so we can write 4 pi minus pi 3 pi is 4 pi minus pi so sine inverse of 4 pi minus pi by 4 plus cos inverse cos 3 pi by 4 the range is 0 to pi pi is 180 degree 3 pi by 4 is 135 degree so it is in the principal range so we can write as itself here you know sine inverse of sin is that a function itself sine inverse of sine x is x cos inverse of cos x is x so first we need to convert to principal value range then we can do that okay then tan inverse of 1 Okay, this is sine inverse of sine 4 pi by 4 minus pi by 4. 4 pi by 4 is pi. Pi minus pi by 4. Plus this one you can write as itself or you can write simply cos inverse of cos 3 pi by 4 is nothing but 3 pi by 4. Plus tan inverse of 1 is tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4. Tan pi by 4 is 1. So tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4. Okay, then here see what is sine pi minus pi by 4? You know sine pi minus x is sine x. So this will be sine inverse of sine pi by 4 which is equal to pi by 4. Okay, so this is pi by 4 plus 3 pi by 4 
plus pi by 4 which is equal to 3 pi plus pi 4 pi plus pi 5 pi by 4 so the answer is 5 pi by 4 it is simple first you have to convert this to principal value range this we can do 4 pi minus pi that is 3 pi that is we can write pi minus pi by 4 sine pi minus pi by 4 is nothing but sine pi by 4 itself so sine inverse of sine pi by 4 is pi by 4 and all other same cos inverse of cos 3 pi by 4 is 3 pi by 4 tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4 so it will be 5 pi by 4 okay next question is from section d that is 5 mark question but this is very easy if you study this chapter or this unit you can assure five mark okay so just uh, don't skip any chapters okay we can uh, go to the question a relation r is defined on a set of real numbers as r equal to set of all x y such that x into y is an irrational number check whether r is reflexive symmetric and transitive or not okay what is the relation here a pair of real numbers belongs to this relation if their product is an irrational number so first you can check a reflexity reflexive means uh, that is all elements each element is related to itself that is a related to a so if we take that is a a belongs to r so if i take any real number is it related to itself we can take any number 1 is 1 related to 1 if 1 related to 1 then its product should be rational number but 1 into 1 is 1 it is a rational number okay so this is not a reflexive okay if I take uh, any other number 1 by 2 1 by 2 is it belongs to R no because 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 4 it is again a rational number so we can say each element of r is not related to r if i take any some uh, other rational number then its product with itself will not be an irrational number it will be a rational number so it is not reflexive next is symmetric symmetric means if a related to b then b related to a if a related to b then b related to a. one condition if a related to b so no need to check all the elements if we check uh, take one element a and b one pair of element a and b that is i take one root two one into root two is root two you know irrational numbers are root two root three root five etc so i choose a one irrational number root two so root two is one into root two so i take one pair a 1 and b root 2 1 root 2 belongs to r why because 1 into root 2 is root 2 irrational number so this pair belongs to r if one pair belongs to r then it's a reverse also belongs to that that means a root 2 1 is root 2 1 belongs to r yes because root 2 into 1 is root 2 again irrational number so we know that uh, this uh, multiplication is commutative in real numbers so we can say it is symmetric okay if i take any other pair 2 and root 2 then 2 into root 2 is an irrational number and also the reverse pair root 2 into 2 is also equal to 2 root 2 okay so multiplication is commutative so we can say if one pair a b belongs to r then its reverse pair b a also belongs to r so it is symmetric and last one is transitive transitive means a related to b b related to a or we can say if a b belongs to r and b c belongs to r then a c should belongs to r okay we can take two pair of elements the same one root two and root two some other number you can take two or three or one even the same one I'm taking 2 so 1 root 2 root 2 2 belongs to r okay 1 into root 2 is root 2 belongs to r root 2 into 2 is 2 root 2 again belongs to this relation and we can see a into c a into c 1 into 2 is a rational number so it does not belongs to r okay so it is not transitive it is not reflexive but symmetric 
and not transitive not reflexive and not transitive but it is symmetric only one property here symmetry only holds all uh, reflexive and transitivity fails okay reflexive if we take two irrational numbers also root 2 and root 2 okay here if i take a root 2 irrational number what is its product root 2 into root 2 is 2 it is a rational number so reflexivity for any if i take any of the numbers from real numbers it will fail okay reflexivity it fails product of two rationals is a rational and also if i take one irrational number it is also not re related to itself okay so this is a very easy question you can get a simply five marks okay so don't skip this chapter either if uh, here uh, you have to check the types of relations otherwise you will get questions to check the types of functions whether uh, to check whether it is one one or not okay we can discuss uh, that type of questions also in coming videos so today i have selected one question paper and i discussed all the questions from unit one okay so if you need more questions from this unit you can comment below otherwise uh, tomorrow we can go to the next uh, unit second unit relation uh, matrices and determinants okay that is algebra we can go to that unit or if you want more questions from this chapter you can comment below or if you want chapter wise revision or unit wise revision you can also comment below okay if you like this video please uh, leave a like and if you uh, find this video useful please uh, share it to your friends and please do subscribe to our channel thank you all all the best for your board exams and it is very crucial in your life and it is one of the crucial step in your uh, life okay so uh, be uh, serious okay uh, all the best dears thank you all